Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at one of the new Mattel Jurassic World figures, the Dino Rivals Attack Pack Musaurus. I was extremely excited to find this figure today. I've been looking forward to this one ever since it was first announced. I know some uh, Jurassic Park collectors have been freaking out that Walmart has been shrinking their displays. And the Walmart I do go to frequently has shrunk down their Jurassic World display considerably. It's just three pegs straight down for the attack packs. A spot on the shelf for the Royal Wars, so hopefully my Walmart will be getting the new ones in soon. And another spot in the bottom shelves for the bigger figures. But I was... They, had, they put out three cases of this new Attack Pack set. So, super excited to find it. So, enough about my excitement. Let's take a quick look at the packaging. So, it comes in the standard Dino Rival Attack Pack packaging. The only difference is, in the top corner right here, it has the word new. And if you compare it to the prior Waves packaging, you can see the difference between them. And you got, you know, the Dino Rivals logo on the bottom, the T-Rex, Triceratops, and Owen. And flipping around the back, you get a look at some of the other figures in the set. And you will notice right off the bat, the Musaurus is painted totally different on the back of the card. So hopefully, maybe this is probably a prototype, or maybe we're getting a repaint down the line. So, other figures in the set are Charlie, Draco Rex, Musaurus, and the Pro Ceratosaurus. The case pack for these is... You get three Charlies and one of each of these three. So, you know, with these single pack figures, they can be a pain to find. I mean, if you compare the back of the packaging with the Solaris from the previous wave, the only figure to survive going into this next wave is the Draco Rex. So, enough about the packaging. Let's crack this guy open and take a closer look. And here is the little Musaurus out of the packaging. And as with all... Dino Rival figures, you do get a collector card. And as you can see, it has the same color scheme as the one on the back of the packaging. So like I said, maybe it was a prototype or maybe there is a repaint coming down the line. So here are a couple quick facts about Musaurus before we take a closer look at the figure. This dinosaur is from the late Triassic period. It is a sauropodomorph or a prosauropod like Platyosaurus, they are the early relatives of the larger sauropods, like Apatosaurus and Diplodocus. It was discovered in the 1970s, and up until 2013, only juvenile and hatchling specimens were known. When the adults were finally discovered, they, the adult size of the species is about 10 feet long. And this dinosaur has actually appeared in the Jurassic Park novels, The Lost World. It is the first dinosaur that the character Robert Levine sees when he gets to Isla Sorna. So with those facts out of the way, let's take a closer look at this guy. And I absolutely am in love with this figure. So it is just about six and a half inches long from the tip of the tail to the nose. And it is about three and a half inches tall. So with those measurements, that would put it using the adult size roughly in the 120 scale range. But if you want to count this as a baby Musaurus, this is a good life-size 1-1 one -one scale of this dinosaur. So I can see a lot of people picking up multiple of these to make it like a little herd or a nest of this really cool-looking figure. So the sculpt of this guy, you know, this is supposed to be, you know, if you compare it to the other figures in this set, it is meant to be an adult dinosaur, but the sculpting is clearly that of the hatchling. You've got the oversized baby head and those baby-like proportions. The eye is painted orange. The main body is this nice light blue color, which I actually love. I like it better than that, that gray color that they showed in the card in the back of the box. You've got some nice black markings along the back and the top of the head. The underside is painted a yellow color and here is the scan code uh, as of today I guess the app is finally getting updated I think it's only updated right now for Android I have an iPhone and it has not been an update for the app yet so that should be coming shortly and as it is with most attack pack figures none of the toenails are painted and articulation wise the head can move 
down that far and back up. The legs can move forward and the back legs can move back almost all the way around. They get stopped right here by this belly fold, same thing on this side. They can only go about that far and all the way back. So yeah, standard articulation for the line. And when looking from the front, this figure has very, very puffy looking cheeks. Look at that face. Only a mother can love that face. So with that out of the way, let's take out some other figures and do some comparisons. All right, first up is with one of the human figures. Here it is with Alan Grant. Whoops, sorry, Alan. And here it is with another attack pack figure. Here it is with the Solaris that a lot of people are still looking for. So, you know, with this new attack pack wave out, if you're looking for this guy or the green Horasaurus, try to snatch them up because these will be eventually replacing them on shelves. And next up is, here it is with Battle Damage Blue. And here it is with the Roar of War Baryonyx. And with the Battle Damage Albertosaurus. And I'd like to try to compare them with like pretty much each figure from the different uh size scale and here it is with the green legacy collection rex and one more comparison because i absolutely absolutely love this figure here it is with the rebor killer queen and that is a fine jurassic collectible so final thoughts on this figure this is one of my favorite attack pack figures ever from the line so far. I just love the color scheme on it. I love the sculpt. And it's like a cool little unknown dinosaur. The art on the attack pack card is pretty cool. And as I was looking at the card, it looks like a demonic little foot from the land before time. So as with any new Jurassic Park figure when it hits the shelf, they're a pain to find. But like I said, my Walmart stock three cases on the shelf. You can still pre-order this guy on Amazon. I'll leave you a link in the description. I actually still have one on pre-order from Amazon. Uh, I didn't pick up the Pro Ceratosaurus today that actually said it was already shipping from Amazon. So I should have that one in on Wednesday and I'll be doing a review of that when that one comes in. And as always guys, thanks for checking out the review and don't forget to like and subscribe.